right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first off, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who love the spirit. Peace and blessings to the hope of the elect. All right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, the house of David, that governed the body of Israel, preaching and living the words of charity and truth. Also, Shalom to the one third as well. All right, the men and women and children that's going to believe on that song also. All right. We're Hebrew Israelites, as you uh, well know, uh, we come out here once again through spirit and power of the Yahweh Shai uh, to preach the gospel according to the, the truth of the scriptures, okay, as commanded uh, by our Lord and Savior, uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ain't going to recall Jesus Christ. All right, we come out here to wake up the hopeful elect. That's who we all only have here for, man. We're out here to preach the gospel and bring that good news to the elect, because that's what the word gospel means, man. It means good news, okay, but it's only for a certain group of people. First off, you have to be an Israelite of the 12 tribes of Israel, and you have to be a elect of that, man. So there's an election amongst that election, okay? Because Israel is the only people that the Heavenly Father ever loved, that he ever dealt with, that he ever gave his law, statutes, and commandments to, okay? Uh, let's actually start with that. Psalm 140, is that Psalm 147? Oh, you're talking about, um, he gave his word to Jacob? Yeah. Jacob, the statue of Israel? Kind of, kind of, kind of, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, brother. Okay. okay. Israel, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, you're the, you're, you're the true chosen people of the Bible, man. That's why you're in the condition that you're in right now. Okay, that's why we're on the low. That's why we're looked down upon. That's why we get blamed for every damn thing, even though the fault of everything is, is the devil, man, the so-called white man, Esau. Mm -hmm. Okay, the biblical Hebrew Edomites. He's in control right now, but he needs to paint the narrative to make us look like we're nothing. We're right. on the low. That's right. Now we, we we're in this predicament because we went against the law, and commandments, and according to biblical prophecy and the curses, these things have happened to us. That's why we're in the ghetto. That's why we're in the barrio. That's why we're in the reservations, catching hell, man. Mm -hmm. Because we went off. So Lobosa punished his children. Okay, he beat his wife. Okay. God. That's why we're in this position, man. But we're gonna tell you that salvation is not, and we're here to wake up the, the elect of, of these people. Okay. That's right. Go this ahead. is the book of Psalms, chapter one forty-seven. I'm going to start at verse 18. And it reads, He sendeth out his word and melteth them and causeth his wind to blow and the waters to flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. Right, he showeth his word unto Jacob, man. What's his word, man? The scriptures. He reveals the understanding and the breakdowns to his to his Jacob, man, which was his synonymous with Israel because his name right. was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel. Right. Okay, and he has such a spirit on him Okay, that the angel had to have to take his hip out of place and to get him up off of because he, he wouldn't let he wouldn't he, stop fighting, you know. Right. But because that he gave, he received that uh that that name, man. Right. Which in the Hebrew it means Yasha Allah. He is a prince of God or a prince of power, man. That's right, brother. Hey, if, if I may, just to add to what you're saying, who also what also embodies the word of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but. There's numerous scriptures that goes into an example that he's considered the word of the most high. Right. And a lot of people say that the Lord had sent his son for everybody. And they'll go to John chapter 3 verse 16 to justify them saying that. Which that is a very beautiful scripture. Especially when you have the proper understanding and knowledge on what that's pertaining to. Because right. all you got to do is read up a few verses and it shows you that it's talking about Israel. That's all you got to do is start at John chapter 3 verse 14. But going back to the point, okay, Yahweh Shai ultimately embodies the word of the heavenly father so if we read this in psalms 147 where it says he showeth his word unto jacob you have to apply that with the word who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ his real name is yahweh shai all right because he's embodiment of the word of the heavenly father so if the word was given unto jacob that must mean that yahweh shai was given unto jacob as well right. and it says it in acts the fifth chapter okay that's all that's all i want to bring up on that point okay. oh, oh. this is psalms 147 and 19. <clears throat> He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He hath not dealt so with any other nation, man. Okay? Real quick, so I get uh, Amos 3 and F3. All right, he hath not dealt so with any other nation. Man. Right, that's right. Okay? Uh, we, we prefer you not. We prefer you don't. Thank you. Yeah, you're good with that, but thanks for asking. A lot of people don't, and y'all are Israelites, by the way. Y'all are the chosen seed of Israel. Y'all are right. special people. Thank you. Just saying right. that, no problem. Y'all have a good day. Shalom, that means peace. Yeah, so like I said, man, uh, the word, uh, uh, so I can read that one more time. Hey, that's kind. She said we beautiful. Yeah, hey, that's what's up, man. Thanks. You know?
work for this. Make it clean, you know? Yeah. She make it clean. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much just the 147 hey, 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 we are beautiful people man and then people so people start to recognize it man that's right that's real you know? talk and all the electors gonna recognize it. all the other scoffers man that's gonna be a curse because they the day they disrespect they don't even and that shows that satan on them. they don't even know what we're about and they'll come and take pictures and scoff and say talk shit she at least has the humble spirit right please ask and be respectful man that's right that's you know? right that, that, that may be a blessing that, that may be a blessing that, you know? she can get blessed for that real talk this is Psalms 147 and 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Right. Just, they have not known them, man. He hath not dealt so with any other nation. Now, that's why we're in the predicament that we're in. You know, but we're at the end of our captivity, man. We can see it, man. Right. This is the finish line, man, our, the, as a lamentation for us say. Okay? Edom is not going to carry us in the captivity anymore. This is the last captivity. That's why I said rejoice and be glad on Edom. That's why we come out here and tell you so-called white people, the Edomites, Okay, you live it up, man. Back to your credit cards. You better go hard, man, because your kingdom is falling, man. Your kingdom is on shalom, the Shalom, Shalom, brother. Hey. That's high room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, man, you know, the, the kingdom is falling, man. Okay, our captivity is coming to an end, man. And we can see it, man. The Most High is hearing the cries and the prayers of his elect, man. He's acting upon according to biblical prophecy, okay? Uh, round the A13 and 3 real quick. Okay, and I got a precept after that to okay. back up what you just said, too. Come. It's Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Oh, slack it. Um, start at the top. Uh -huh. It's Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. And we already broke down. That's synonymous with Jacob, as you read in Psalms 147. Okay? Hear this word that the Most High speaks against you, Israel. Okay? That's who we're out here for. The elect of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I have brought up. Brought I have brought up from the land of Egypt. Right, we brought up out of the land of Egypt, man. We were delivered out of the hands of Pharaoh, man. And we're going to be delivered out of the hands of the modern Pharaoh today, man, which is Esau. Okay? Because this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. We read in Revelation 11 and 8. Con. Okay? Con. Get a point. Now, I was going to say, if some, I don't got, I'm not, I don't got my phone on me to okay. do this, but if somebody could look at that word family whenever we get a chance, <laughs> just to see what that says right there. It says the whole family Con. that he had brought, you Con. know, and it goes back to the blessing that was given to uh, Abraham ultimately. When he said all the families, um, you know, a company of nations shall be blessed out of that. You know, that's that that's that family. Ultimately, it goes into Israel. It's exclusive, man. You know, it's only a particular seed that the Lord has sent his word unto. And they're the only ones that are able to receive this word, man. That's why you got the whole rest of the world bugged out. All right, because they weren't able to receive the word. They weren't able to receive that blessing. It's only given to a particular family and only elect chosen out of that particular family right now. But I'm just curious to see what that says. Okay, it's a uh, family in the, in the Hebrew, uh, H4940 for that verse. It's a uh, Mashapaka, okay? Or Mashapaka, okay? Uh, it says clan, family, clan, family, tribe, people, nation, guild, species, kind, aristocrat. And a lot of people who think, I mean, it's Old Testament, so we know it's talking about Israel, but there are scriptures in the New Testament that goes into the families of the earth shall be blessed. All right, even in Revelation, Revelation, the seventh chapter, it talks about that peaceful multitude. All right, every tongue, every kindred and family. But when you go into that, it goes back to what we just read right here in the book of Amos. All right, it goes into that. I believe that word there in Revelation 7 is um, Fula, which goes to being a direct descendant under Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it also says a specific clan or tribe or family as well. So it, the scripture specifies who his word is delivered to. And it's specified not only in the Old Testament, but also in the, New, in the New Testament as well. But you have to have spiritual understanding and you have to be of an Israelite, of course, to be able to receive it as such. Salak, your brother, I just wanted to bring out that point. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Right, read that, Salak, read that one, one more time for you. It's uh, Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Right, you only have I known of all the families on the earth, man. Okay, and who is that? Israel, okay? And he, he already referenced who, uh, that's who he's dealing with because he delivered them out of the hands of Pharaoh, right. man. Right, that's right, that's right. Okay, he saved the Israelites, man. Okay, that's who he delivered. He delivered no one else. And after that, what did he do? He, he gave his word unto Jacob, mm -hmm. okay, through Moses on Mount right. Sinai. that's right. Okay, which is why we're subject to those curses, man. Which is why we're in the position that we're in because the most is only dealing with us. But now America's so to those curses. Why? Because you've taken on the Bible, 
but you're not you're not the people that have me follow but you decide to take his word and then you cast one behind you so now you're subject to the judgments and the curses which is why america's being is being taken, okay america's being taken down the way it is because it, 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 it goes completely and at first against the ways of the heavenly father the scriptures man the, the, the complete hypocrisy okay complete hypocrisy uh here in america man but you call yourselves christian you know but homosexuals can get married here pedophiles are, are living better than certain people you know i got a quick adultery preach. Can't preach. Not good. Sure. this is psalms 15 and 16. it says but unto the wicked the most i saith what is thou to do to declare my statutes? Right, to so the wicked. Who's the wicked, man? The actual wicked is the so-called white people. Okay, you Edomites. Okay, you're the actual wicked that the Heavenly Father created on left-hand side to, to wreak havoc on the planet Earth. To wiggle around and cause turmoil all over the damn place. Okay, we can prove that as well, man. But he said, what are you doing to declare my statutes, man? What are you doing trying to take my words into your mouth, man? What are you doing trying to say you're a God-fearing Christian? Okay, what the hell are you talking about, man? Go ahead. Gone. It says, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right, you try to take the heavenly father's covenant in your mouth, man. You try to say that the Lord died for you, man. That's complete blasphemy, mm, blasphemy that's and right. wickedness, man. That's right, brother. The Lord didn't die for the rest of the people, man. He died for the elect and the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's Acts 5 to 29, okay? That's right, that's right. But you brought up the point earlier going into how these other nations tried to take that covenant in their own mouth and follow the ways. And the Most High is going to judge them according to the law because they tried to claim to be some, themselves to be the holy people and claim to be followers of the Messiah. So now you got to fit the tab with the pending destruction that's to come because you were the ones that wanted to declare his statues. Look at how America was founded. America was founded off of blood, but they want to say that America was founded off of what? Biblical principles. Right. Okay, that, that's when they, when they made America and signed that Declaration of Independence, there were specific biblical principles that they said that they would follow, right. that they said that they would keep. But you look at everything that they've done and they've produced in America, and it's that complete variance of what the Heavenly Father wants, man. Complete opposition with the desire of the Heavenly Father. I was listening to a, a video from one of the brothers out there in Boston, one of the elder brothers, was going into a land Sabbath, man. All right? You're supposed to be a land Sabbath that's kept once every seven years. But Esau doesn't follow that. They uplift homosexuality. All right? Pedophilia is esteemed high. A lot of your kings and your nobles are, 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 are pedophiles, man. Okay, and these are only a small inkling of different examples to go to show you that this man is the devil But he claims to be a follower of the Most High, but he's not, man And we out here calling you out in the gate of the noble man commanded to do, man All right Gone, gone Psalms 50 and 17 It says, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee Right, you hate this instruction Like what I said, you, you established, you tried to establish America upon what? Certain biblical principles but you, was, you were a complete hypocrisy for it. Right. That's why when Isaiah 10 talks about, I shall send the Assyrian against a hypocritical mm -hmm. nation. He sent the Assyrians against us, man, because we're weak, because we were agreed to go through those laws that right. man, the first, right. but then we went off, man. So he yep. sent the Assyrians, and what? He sent the modern day Assyrians, which was America against us as well, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we were hypocrites. So you think, because, and, and since we're a hypocritical nation, and the Lord was dealing with us, you think because you're uh, you're not, you think, you, you think you're gonna get away ultimately? Because you're, 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 America's been a hypocrite like this well, man. Right, so right, so right. if he punishes his own people, you're going to be punished also. And that's why I wanted to bring out the Jeremiah 49 real quick, and then we'll go back to that. Come on. Uh, Jeremiah 49, what's that? Should be in my life, verse 12. Okay, okay. It's uh, Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus said the Lord, Behold, those whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have to surely drunk. Right, those whose judgment to, to drink of the cup have surely drunk, man. We weren't supposed to drink of the cup, okay? We were sons of the heavenly father, man. But it's all according to his movie and according to prophecy, how he had everything laid out that we had to go through this thing. We had to go through 360 degrees of understand, knowledge, wisdom, understanding so we can understand how not to run a kingdom. And we're seeing that in, in the form of America now, okay? We had, we, we had to learn we learn good and evil, man. So we're gonna be in complete balance in the kingdom, man. We're gonna right. bless us with the law, and commandments written in our hearts. That's right. Okay. But we weren't originally supposed to go through that, man. Okay, go ahead. And art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? Right, and you eat my thinking you're gonna go unpunished, man. You America thinking it's not gonna go unpunished. Go ahead. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right, you're not gonna go unpunished, man. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing your punishment, man. The Mosai is tearing your kingdom a new asshole. Excuse my language. You know? 
that's what's happening here. That's that's why your beloved America is going down, man. Because you walked in great pride. You, you, to, you, you torn up the, the planet Earth. Okay, you put your hand on the apple of the Lord's eye, who is the, is the Israelites, and you're continuously making mockery of the scriptures and you downtrodden the word, man. Right. And continuous hypocrisy, but still have nerve to call yourself a Christian. Right. So you're going, you're being punished right now. You're not going to go and punish. You're going to drink of it. And what is that compass we're burning to? Slavery. Okay. You put the children of Israel in slavery, so you're going to go into slavery. That's according to Revelation 9 and uh, verse, uh, chapter, sorry, chapter 13, verses 9 and 10. Okay. And various other scriptures. All right. You, you're going to go down as well, man. You're going to drink in that cup of slavery, man. You're going to have to serve your thousand years of slavery, and the Edomites are going to be destroyed. These other nations are going to serve their captivity, and then they're going to go into their respective, respective lands where the Most High set up for them, and then they're just going to give tribute, man. But you're going to, you're going to be, you're being punished right now. This is just the beginning of it, okay? Then it's going to be slavery and destruction after that. There was a scripture in Job where it says, um, it shall be poured out without mixture. Oh, uh, that's Psalm 75. Okay, I know there's a precept to it in Job. Oh, oh, bring the dregs, the dregs of the cup. The dre oh, that's, that's, that's Okay. The dregs, the dregs. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's here. Well, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. Okay, okay, yeah. come, come. Well, I have sworn by myself, said the Lord Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation. All right, Basra, and what's that? Basra was a chief city in Edom, okay? And what's like it to a chief city now? America, you call yourself an American citizen. All right, so this this is uh, Basra, just like Jerusalem is a people for us a place. Okay, Edom is going to, is a people for us a place. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so hey, they're, they're going to read, read that one more time. Oh, sure. time. Well, I have sworn by myself, said the Lord Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation. All right, the Most High sworn by himself that, that Edom is going to be a desolation, man. Okay, so the Most High has proclaimed this, and the scriptures say his word doesn't return to him void, man. So you people, you Edomites are going to be a, a desolation, man. Okay. Gonna be completely taken out. A reproach, a waste, and a curse. A reproach, a waste, and a curse, man. And you are a curse right now. You're clean lepers, man. And a reproach, what? It means to shame, okay? And it's gonna be a curse. And that's what's gonna happen to America, man. It's, it's gonna be burnt up with thermonuclear destruction where it's never gonna be inhabited again, pursuant to what? Revelation 18 and also Isaiah 34, okay? This place is gonna be scorched and left for a, a, a memorial of how not to run a kingdom, of what happens. When you go this hard in wickedness, this is what happens, man. Okay? Yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt up. America's gonna fall in that same state. You guess something? Yeah, con, con. Well, this is another precept. This is Job 18 and 14. It says, His confidence shall be rooted. Okay, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him into the king of terrors. Okay, and who's the king of terrors? The scripture's talking about right here. It's talking about the most high. Who the world loves to say is love which the scriptures does say the most high is love but that's not the only attribute the god of heaven and earth has man right here in job 18 he's considered the king of terrors and you people are going to truly recognize he is that he is the king of terrors due to the mass destruction that he's going to bring unto your precious america man all right he's going to obliterate america in a very divine godlike fashion that's right all right and we see the coronavirus we see this global pandemic that's taking place this is a start of the mass judgment that the Heavenly Father is getting ready to bring. That's right. Just like he tore up ancient Egypt, hey, he's doing the same thing to modern day Egypt, which is America, man. All right? But it, the brother brought up the point going into how this place is going to be dealt with with fire. All right? The, the kingdom of the Edomites, all right? The cream of the crap. Okay? That's right. But it says his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. And what does confidence go into? It goes into faith, man. And Esau has faith in tangible things. All right, he has faith in things that he's created, which made him think that he is a God himself. He has faith in his own devices, faith in his own belief system that he is a higher power. But that's going to crumble in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. All right, that tabernacle also goes into a dwelling in a place of worship as well. Okay, but it says it shall dwell in its tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. And what does that go into? That goes into the fire that the brother was going into. All right, brimstone is the judgment that's getting ready to come to America, just like it was brought into ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And this place is a lot more wicked and more satanic than Sodom and Gomorrah. You people know about it. You've heard about it in, in your Bible stories, in, in your little studies that you've done when you were younger. Well, you think of well, the Lord destroyed Sodom and, and, and Gomorrah. Why would he not destroy America? This place is Sodom and Gomorrah times 77. All right. Come, come. Uh, Second Peter chapter two. Uh, 
uh, verse 6 and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Mm. And that's us right now. So like, no, no, you, you that's us right now, man. All right, just as Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked when he had abode in Sodom and Gomorrah, all right, we feel the same exact way. We feel the same exact way. I believe it was Lot. I believe he dwelt in Sodom. You know, but you had Gomorrah and you also had those three other neighboring cities right. that went along with those two main hubs. But as Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation, and conversation doesn't only mean the utterance. It doesn't only mean the words that these people say. Right. All right. Actions follow words. Anastrophe. Your anastrophe. Exactly. And as Lot was vexed with not only the conversation, but the actions that followed, that's the same way that we feel, man. Because everything that's deemed wicked in the eyes of the Heavenly Father is considered just and right and heavily esteemed in this wicked-ass place, man. That's, right. that's why we vexed as hell. That's why we irritated. A lot of people be like, why are you so mad all the time? Why are you so upset we come up here? Because the wicked's ruling the earth, man. When you be upset, you can't even drink clean water, man. That's right. You know? That's why right. you can't drink clean water. You can't be a man here. There's no righteousness here, man. Okay? You sick. People catching hell. You feel horrible in society. You develop allergies over time, man. Right now, my allergies are kicking my ass. And I, even, I never had allergies before until the last couple of years, man. But now I can barely look out my eyes, man. My shit itching and burning so bad, man. Because this damn devil, man. He, he's, too, right. he's completely uh, messed up the whole earth, though. The scriptures say the whole earth is born and, and, and is in a, 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 a curse is devoured the earth. When you read Isaiah the 24th chapter, man. You know? This devil has to be taken out, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And like, you know, like we just read in 2 Peter, man. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah that the brother was going into they was destroyed for an example to those that after should live ungodly this way it's a Sodom 2.0 right okay they're going way harder than witness now it's at the click of a button you can fulfill your freaky uh, nasty desire here man you don't even have to go places like in, back in the ancient world where you actually had to go and do things here you can do it in the comfort of your own home and, and have your wickedness but, they, but people act like no one's seeing that man the heavenly father sees all man and this place is going to be judged for it okay for setting up that, that access like that Job 18 and 16, his roots shall be dried up beneath. His roots shall be dried up beneath. That means he's going to be completely taken out, man. When you take, take something from the roots, man, it, it ceases to exist, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we got to, that's why you tell you, when you pull up weeds, you got to pull it up from the roots, at least it grow back. Man. Right. So the most high is going to take, take the roots away from Esau, man. Okay? His roots shall be dried up beneath, and above shall his branches be, his branch be cut off. Branch, branches shall be cut He's going to be completely cut off on all aspects, man. From his children, everything, man. The nation of Edom is going to cease to exist, man. You're going to be eradicated in the kingdom of heaven, man, after you serve your slavery. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. Your remembrance is going to perish from the earth. That's why the scriptures say you, you're going to fly away as a dream, man. Right. And as you, as you never even existed, man. Okay? You're, you're, but, you're but a speck in, in, in the eyes of eternity in the heavenly father, man. Right, right, right. In, in the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of heaven, man, you're just but a speck, man. But that's, that's going to be everlasting kingdom. So you remember it's going to be gone away with after a while, you know? The only way you remember it, if we bring you up as, as an example, you know, when we reminisce or, or, or we're teaching our children, other than that, man, ain't nobody going to be talking about Edomites like that, man. Right, right, you right. You know? Everyone's going to be happy if the Edomites are gone, even the other nations, man. Because you oppress the other nations as well, man. You take all their resources, you, you completely uh, you stabilize their economies and have them follow after you, man, after you whine. And that's why scriptures say the nations are mad now because they followed the ways of Esau and they got burnt. Dealing with this horror Babylon, man. Yeah, is it on that one? Uh, okay, come, come, get up. It's Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Right, prepare slaughter for his children. Who? Because this is talking about the king of Babylon when you read up, okay? Prepare slaughter for his children. Why? Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of their fathers, man. So you eat my stuff. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It was my grandfather. Well, you are your forefathers, okay? So three or four generations ago, that actually was you, man. You know? And furthermore, they, 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 they your forefathers left a tab here, man. Okay? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, just gonna say, like I said, prepare slaughter for his chick, for his children, man. So we're, we're, we're gonna take you out by the roots, man. You know? You gonna have to, someone had to pay that tab, man. That's why the scriptures say in Lamentation, the fifth chapter, our fathers have sinned and are not. We have borne their iniquity. We had to go through it. Okay, so the same thing for you Edomites, man. You have to, you have to go through it as well, man. 
if it, hey, who cares if it, if it wasn't you in this particular incarnation? But you're still benefiting off of, off, off of the, uh, the the labors that we did. Okay, you're still benefiting from, from white privilege. Okay, from from this from this uh, this this hegemon, this eating my hegemon. You're still benefiting from it. Okay, you're still taking part in it. You're still receiving the benefits. You know, even if you're not quote unquote uh, 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 oppressing uh, Jake right now. Okay, you're still benefiting off the system that still oppresses our people. That still oppresses the Lord's people. Okay. Go ahead. That they do not rise nor possess the land. Right, they do not rise nor possess the land. So that's, that's how they're going to be taken up by the root, man. Okay, as a brother read Job. Okay. No. Right. Nor feel the face of the world with cities. Right, you're not going to feel the face of the world with cities, man. You're going to be completely taken out at the end of the day, man. In the kingdom of heaven after you serve in captivity. All right. Uh, yeah, I got some real quick. Okay. You talked about how they're going to talk about their fathers. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Right. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 18, um, verse 19. It says, O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come up unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity in things wherein there is no profit. And that's the mentality of these Edomites that you see today, man. They'll be quick to say, Well, that wasn't me. That was my father. I have nothing to do with that. But we read earlier in Isaiah the 14th chapter that the scripture, the Lord says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Now, there was an argument that had stemmed a while back because the scriptures does say that the child isn't going to receive judgment for what the father does. OK, but in order to understand that that's not a, a contradiction within the scriptures, you have to understand what reincarnation is. All right. Because if you understand reincarnation, you understand that a few generations prior, you were those fathers, man. So those people that were beating us, that were hanging us, that were burning us, doing all this atrocious things on the planet Earth, you have reaped that inheritance. I'm sorry, you're going to receive that judgment for that because that was you. All right. So, yeah, your fathers have inherited lies and you've carried on within that, man. That's why it says in the book of Psalms, the 49th chapter, it says, thy posterity approve it their sayings, man. All right. And they don't even approve it orally, but they approve it based on their actions, man. All right. That's why you have what's called white privilege right now. Okay, and white privilege pretty much is the benefits that you've received um, from the roots of America, and you still receive those benefits today being an right. Edomite American, man. That's right. So, yeah, man, you are going to receive that judgment that your fathers have done because you are your fathers and you approve their sayings. And even with you approving their sayings, you're going to be judged for that, man. You're going to be judged for that. Because what you approve of goes back to how Israelites were destitute over here in America. That's right. What they've done, you approve of that, man. You approve of white supremacy, which is, which is completely shitted on Jake this whole time, man. Right. You're, you're the you're the first hired and last fired right. versus Jake is the last hired and first fired. You know, you, you still uh, you take home some benefits. You don't want them things to change. You talk about how slavery was bad. Right. But you really don't want to change it, man. Ain't nobody ain't nobody trying to hear hear that that, that madness that Esau trying to do. No one believes you anymore, man. Okay. It's time for the devil just to be taken out of the planet Earth. That's it. And, and for us to live cancer free on the planet Earth, man. Because you are the cancer that they have their father created, man. And if you soon, soon enough, he's he's at the true physician. Yeah, you know, you how why how it's shot. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna cut that cancer out of the body, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and Earth is that body that you need to be cut out of. That's right. Because you're killing the Earth right now. That's right. You know. Uh, well, I will rise up against them, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name mm. and remnant and, and son and nephew, said the Lord. Right. You can cut off the name. Remnant, the remnant of Edom, okay, the son, the nephew, everything, man, because the man carries the seed, okay, so he's gonna cut off, cut off the men, particularly, man, and that's why the scriptures we read, you read Jeremiah 49, he said, left eye widows trust in me, man, we're gonna have your women, just like you had our women, but we, hey, but for the most part, the men are gonna be taken out, man, to where there's not gonna be any more perpetual seed, okay, now we're gonna breed you for slavery, but after that, man, hey, you, you're gonna be completely eradicated, and, and your dog, and your dog ass women too, man, you know? Uh -huh. And I will also make it a possession for the bitterness okay. and pools of water. Yeah. And I will sweep it with the beast of, of destruction, right. said the Lord of hosts. Right. Mm. And I will also make it a possession for the bitterness and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the beast of destruction. Right. The beast of destruction, man, that goes into what? A broom. Mm, okay. Right. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a, a sweeping fire acro across America, man. Okay, that, that nuclear fire, okay, that, that fire not blown when you read about Isaiah the ninth chapter, 
okay? That's the, that's that beast of my destruction that is going into, man. It's gonna be a, a just a wave of fire, super, super, mm -hmm. eating my off the planet Earth, man. That's and it. we're gonna walk some of you into slavery, particularly the elites and others. Right. But most of you, Joe, six pack uh, Edomites, hey, man, you're gonna die in, in various ways, man. It also be that nuclear destruction. But you're gonna die. There's race riots. Obviously, there, there, there's COVID-19, so there's plagues and pestilence right now. It's gonna get famine, concentration camps. It's gonna be various plagues, man. Uh, noisome beast, as the scriptures talk about. Okay, and then the hands of the men of the Lord, man. Okay, but ultimately it's going to be that beast of destruction that that's sweeping fire. Okay, that that's going to hit, and it's going to sweep across America. Like I said when those when those nukes begin to hit. That's right. Okay. Yeah, back in Job chapter eighteen, I'm going I'm to jump back to verse twenty one. Okay. It goes it goes right into what um y'all are saying. This is Job eighteen. I'm gonna start at verse twenty. It says, "Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul." Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away wrath for them. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out unto their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children, means taken, and be widows. You brought up the widows earlier. That's right. And let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. And that ultimately that battle is going to go into that beast of destruction that's going to come, man. All right, I mean, really, like the brother had said, the choice of them we are going to take, all right, and place them in captivity so they can breathe, okay? But we're even gonna monitor, monitor that. Just like they, they monitor the way that we, we multiply. That's right. They monitor, or they attempted to at least, because we live, yeah, we, you know? <laughs> yeah, so we, it's a lot. No, no, go ahead. They tried to, but it didn't work. Right. All right, but the thing is, we're gonna be able to monitor them. But the rest of them that dwell in America, when this martial law hits, when all these things happen, man, the Lord ain't gonna leave no room, man. That vision of destruction is gonna tear all this place up, man. Right. And the only way to get delivered out of it, it ain't gonna be no pit that you can go into underground because the Lord gonna have his men come there and get y'all asses out of there. Right. It ain't gonna be no mountain. It ain't gonna be no underwater stations and it ain't gonna be no space stations. Right. Now y'all have those and y'all's general idea is for the choice of your flock to go in there. But that's ultimately part of the Heavenly Father's program, and it's going to be taken. But everybody else that's in here, there's no way of escaping it. The only way to truly escape the destruction that's coming is you have to be elect out of Israel, and that election is going to get beamed up through the fire into those chariots, which you ignorantly call UFOs, man. That's going to be the only way. That's how we're going to be saved from that beast of destruction that's going to come. All right? That fire not blown. Okay? Um, Amos 9 and 2. Though they dig into hell... Thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves on top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. That goes into the mountains. The mountains, the space stations underground. When it says they dig into hell, for the people that might not have proper understanding on that, that's not talking about the place where you go to that you burn forever that the, that the church teaches, man. When you go into that word hell, the word in the Hebrew is Shavuot, which really just means the grave.